Hey, welcome to Joe for Jeff. I'm Jeff. Today I'm looking at the newest marijuana-themed horror movie. The slasher movie entry is 420 Massacre, and it's exactly what you think it is. Let's watch the trailer. Damn, you really do smoke a lot of weed, you know that? Well, keep in mind, I don't normally blaze up this much. It just so happens to be a holiday. A holiday? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's talking about 420. So where's that put us now? That's a good question. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the hell was that? Help! 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 He was hunting us. And we were the prey. And it got Doug. It got Doug. And now it's coming for me. It's coming for me. Why would someone want to kill a cool guy like you? The weed. Did you just say the weed? <gasps> Whoa. Holy crap balls. Take it, take it, take it, please. You're all next. a bunch of other jacked up shit that's happened on 420, which is why it is our collective duty to blaze up on this day. What in God's name are you talking about? He's going to get loose if we don't get the fuck out of here right now. No! Like most slasher movies, a group of female friends go to the woods on a camping trip. It seems it's one of the girls' birthday, and instead of going to a club or anything fun like that, these girls decide to go to the forest for a good old-fashioned camping trip. We get the character introductions, which are uh, Scream Queen Jamie Bernadette as Jess. She plays a badass self-defense instructor. Uh, this is going to come in handy later. Uh, her lesbian best friend, who is secretly in love with her. Donna, the generic stoner, because uh, every movie like this needs one. And Rachel and Michelle, the standard lesbian couple who are uninteresting and not really important. Anyway, the women are hiking to their camping spot and stumble across a man fleeing an unseen killer. He doesn't make a lot of sense and uh, says he's being chased because he has a large bag of stolen weed, which is a good idea. He passes it to the group and continues running. Don't worry, he won't get far. The women also run across uh, Ranger Rick, who's the local uh, gaming warden. He warns the girls about weed farmers in the hills and that they should stay clear because the growers can be violent and they will protect their crop. So what did I like about the movie? Well, from the trailer, I was worried this was more of a comedy than a horror movie. The trailer is a little misleading as this is a horror movie for sure. There's a lot of gore in the kills and the killer is mysterious enough to keep you guessing about his true motives. Jamie Bernadette is awesome in this film. I've been a big fan of her for the last few couple of years and she's done a good couple of movies like Axeman and uh, Elder Island. She never disappoints, and she's really the anchor of this movie, and it really shows um, her strong leadership really comes into it. I will admit that I considered this movie average while watching it, but the final one-third of the movie more than makes up for it. Let me just say that the final act was great. When we finally get to the last two victims and the big reveal of the killer and their motives, it's makeup for everything. It's like the movie went to another level, and one of the characters' death really got to me, and I, I couldn't wait for the bad guys to get what was coming to them. The movie's well shot, and the scenery is very beautiful. They use the woods well, and even though it takes place during the day, the seclusion of the setting makes it a little bit creepy. Sometimes the woods can be just as scary during the day as they are at night. So what didn't I like about the movie? Well, when watching any weed-themed movie, I always get the feeling that since I don't smoke and haven't for a, quite a long time, I really won't be into it. It's like an inside joke that only smokers can get. Now this movie gets around that by making the lead a non-smoker, and there's a final scene at the end that made me chuckle a little bit. Now the acting is great where it needs to be, but the throwaway characters don't do much. Rachel and Michelle make out, and that's pretty much it. Donna smokes weed, and that's all she does too. The important characters are fleshed out, but even the others are useless. I don't even care if they live or die. So that's 420 Massacre, a much better than average slasher. Don't let the weed theme fool you, this is a horror movie, and a really good one at that. I'm Jeff, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.